for the office of Lieutenant Governor, Will Ainsworth. The oath will be administered by Judge Christy Edwards. What an honor it is to yeah. be administering this oath to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Raise your right hand. I, William W. Ainsworth, do solemnly swear. I, William W. Ainsworth, do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Alabama. And the Constitution of the State of Alabama. So long as I continue a citizen thereof. So long as I continue a citizen thereof. And that I will faithfully and honestly discharge. And I will faithfully and honestly discharge. The duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Governor Ivey, constitutional officers, lawmakers, judges, and my fellow Alabamians, allow me to begin my march today by thanking my family, my parents, Kendall's parents, my wonderful wife, Kendall, our awesome children, Hunter, Hayes, and Addie, whose love, support, and sacrifice allow me to serve our state. I love you all very much. Today is a day of celebration. We celebrate our freedoms. We celebrate our state's many blessings. And we celebrate that God has given us the privilege of calling ourselves Alabamians. Today is a day of looking ahead to all the promise that tomorrow holds and is a day to recognize those unique qualities that make Alabama such a special place to live, work, worship, and raise families. As Lieutenant Governor for the past four years, I've made it my mission to promote workforce development so that every Alabamian who wants a good job can get a good job. We brought the dream of entrepreneurship and self-employment within the reach of average Alabamians by making it easier to own and successfully operate a small business with one of the nation's lowest tax burdens. We protected our military bases by making Alabama the most welcoming state in the country for active service members, dependents, and veterans. We've ensured access to long-lasting, well-paying 21st century jobs by supporting the Alabama aerospace industry that one once launched men to the moon and are doing so again today. But we cannot rest on past glories, for there is much left to accomplish. The road before us is long, and our journey is not yet over. We must keep an eye towards the future, anticipate the needs of employers, both large and small, and prepare our workforce for the jobs of tomorrow. We must retain our best and brightest talent by attracting the jobs and opportunities that allow our children our grandchildren and their children after them to work, to prosper, and succeed as never before right here in sweet home Alabama. We must ensure that the quality of our education our children receive isn't determined by the zip code in which they live. With the authorization and continuing expansion of charter schools and school choice across the state, we have given parents a measure of decision-making power over how their children are taught. But we must keep working to improve, reform, and fully fund the public education opportunities that Alabama provides. I believe Alabama must also be a nation's leader in preserving godly morals, promote traditional values, and practice the patriotism that keeps our republic healthy. While more liberal states attempt to rewrite history with wrecking balls, and they thumb their nose at our freedoms and principles that have made our nation the greatest mankind has ever known, Alabamians continue to embrace our liberties with a fierceness that is unparalleled anywhere. We govern our state and live our daily lives by the words etched in our Alabama motto, we dare defend our rights. So join with me today as we continue our journey together and pledge to take the very best of Alabama and make it even better. May God bless each of you. May God bless our beautiful state that all of us are proud to call home. Thank you.